Hey you guys, welcome back to the next video. Hope you guys are having fun and getting creative and spending time um, playing and um, and doing all the things that you enjoy. And so I know that I am working in my journals and I'm working, um, I'm going through my box of things and trying to use the different things within my journals. Um, so yeah, lots of collages, I'm working in my glue book. Um, and my dream journal. So, um, so yeah, I hope you guys are having fun too. So with this project, I've been really, really wanting to do something with mixed media and I have, I used to play around with stencils all the time and I've just kind of had them in my drawer and haven't been given them any sorts of love. And so I thought this would be the perfect little opportunity, um, to use some, to use them, to play around with some, um, product and some supplies that I haven't played with in a while. So, um, so basically I took three plain white shipping tags or regular tags that you can get at like, um, Hobby Lobby or any kind of office supply store. And I have this stencil I've had forever and you can tell because I have lots of paint from projects left on there, but I'm just using an acrylic paint, um, to fill in the stencil and it's going to be creating, a distressed, I'm, I'm going to be, uh, sorry, excuse me. I'm going to be applying distressed ink which will, the paint will actually act as a resist. So what that means basically is that once you spray, the paint will cause the paper from resisting to pick up any of that. Um, it'll leave that stencil look onto the page. So I'm using Diflusion, Diflusion um, inks and um, basically just kind of squirted a few on there. I wanted to leave some of the white background as well. And then I'm actually going to take a piece of material here and kind of like dry the ink up. Um, I like to use different items that I can use later on. So I'll save that piece of white paper there and use it again another time. Now my tag, that one tag slipped up underneath the other. So now it has a white strip on it, but that's okay. We're going to, we're going to play with it and we'll still be able to use it. So the three cards that I set out there were actually part of the journal, your story. Um, if you were with me back in January and you bought a kit, this is a Vicki Booten line. Um, and that basically I wanted to use all of those different, um, uh, journal cards and create a page for each. Well, I still have, I think I have like three, three or four I haven't used. And so I thought this was a good time to use the good life because we are having a pajama party. My sister's over. We're having fun. It's, it's a good life. It's a good thing. And so um, I decided I'm going to try to fit this into one of my uh, projects. And so now the pajama party um, that I'm cutting out here is part of the free printable that I sent out with you guys. Um, and it's also available on my website or on my blog. Um, so you can print that out anytime. And then I thought it would be great to use uh, little bits and pieces throughout, you know, throughout the projects and, um, add it to, um, different types of projects, or actually you can actually put it as a, you can print it out as many times as you want, and you can actually add it as a full picture in your journal. Um, so, so yeah, so I'm just kind of trying to play around with here to see what's going to work. Um, I want to definitely do some layers. And so we, um, so yeah, so I'm kind of had to take a pause and really glad I did because I was kind of stuck on what I needed to do. And I decided I'm going to go ahead and do some stamping and do another just um, embossing on this particular um, tag. And so I wanted to do some stars for, you know, nighttime, that kind of thing. And um, so I'm using a gold uh, distressed on that uh, Look how beautiful. I just love watching that transformation. Um, and it turned out so, so pretty. And so, um, if you're wondering, I'm doing my scissors there, I'm holding it down because that heat gun is super hot and also holds it down in that beautiful. So yeah, so, um, so yeah, now I'm ready to, um, get more creative here. So I had this punch here. Um, it also is a star punch. I don't use it very often, but again, I really wanted to try to, um, create, um, some different, use some product that I haven't and supplies that I haven't used. So, um, so that piece of paper that I cut out there, that's actually strips of a line of paper. I think it was from, 
it, it was either from Walmart or Hobby Lobby, but basically it had a lot of like unicorns and some foil paper and things like that. And I just thought it would be, um, I saved a bunch of scraps, so I've been using those throughout my journals, and uh, it, I thought it was pretty whimsical, so that's why I'm just kind of using um, up my scrap paper. So I fussy cutted the, um, the good life out, and now I'm just trying to figure out exactly how I'm going to place it on this tag, because I really want to be able to um, see all elements of the tag and have it move around if I need it to. And so, um, so yeah, we're just using some washi, and um, I'm going to do another punch out of some of that material again. See how that how beautiful that paper is? I just couldn't. I thought even though I used it in other projects, I saved every little piece of it to use in future projects because it was so, it's so pretty. It's a lot of um, light blues and purples and things like that. So, so I'm just going to glue down um, the wording here onto the tag. And I'm actually putting the good onto the pink tag, and then life is going to be um, adhered to that bottom tag there. So, um, again, I'm just kind of fiddling around, trying to figure out exactly how I'm going to put it all together and what looks best. Um, once I got my creativity going on these, because it's been so long and I've really wanted to do this for this particular uh, event, I wanted to create some mixed media tags. Uh, once I got going and it started flowing, the first one was the most um, <laughs> was the most difficult to do because it was just like I couldn't get my imagination going. And I really wanted to add one of these cute girl stickers, one of my pajama girl stickers, but she was just too big to add to those um, so to that tag so I'm pretty happy with it um, again it, it did take a while for me to get some of my um, creativity going and so then I thought you know let's go ahead and do some inks and I go ahead and add some more embossing stamps these are cute cute little stamps it's by, it's called stamps by Judith I I found her at a scrapbook expo um, and so I'm really, um, I really love her, her stamps. Um, and so I was excited to use that supplies and do some more embossing and um, just adding a lot of sparkle on there. I think it turned out really cute. And then I can just kind of clip that into my journal and you already have a little journal spot made. And so now we're moving into the next one. I did want to go ahead and try to get all three um, tags completed um, and again these are really great to make up and have just on hand for um, for future projects and things like that and so I'm cutting out one of my the sparkling unicorns that came with um, that kit as well again I am bound and determined to use those pajama parties because I really wanted to add a cluster um, tag in my on my page that I'm going to be journaling about today so um, I really wanted to, I'm going to get those fig figured out one way or the other, so, um, but it didn't work on this tag, so we're going to move on to a different, making this something different. So this, um, I'm cutting out the wording that says, follow your dreams, and actually, um, I mentioned having a dream journal, I, I know, how many journals does a girl need, but I feel like I want a space that you can write out just not necessarily your everyday stuff, which it, it goes with that as well, but it's something that's just a little more personal. Um, I have some thoughts in my head that for future things that I want to do and complete, and I just need to get it down on paper. Um, sometimes I think that it helps to, I know for me, it helps to journal and be creative in the journaling. Um, which is add photos and different things like that. So I think that's what I'm going to be using this particular tag for is to go inside this new um, journal I'm going to be starting. Uh, and a lot of it's just brainstorming, I guess, so to speak, but it's also just kind of like your dreams and future thoughts and ideas. Um, so I'm just going to, again, apply um, kind of the same concept as I did in the last um, last tag 
except on this one, I'm actually glued it to where it is. Um, <laughs> I'm fighting with this distressed ink. It's that it's, I think it's like a cotton candy color or something like that. I can't remember the name right off the top of my head, but it just is it or spun spun sugar, spun candy, something like that. And it just doesn't show up very good. So I'm using the purple to come in with the edges um, on this particular tag. But with this tag, I actually made it where it's going to stay like a uh, diagonal like that. And so, um, so that way you, it's glued into place. There is no moving the tag or anything like that. Just using some Posca ink markers um, to just do some doodling and um, just kind of adding some pin lines and things like that in there. Um, then I actually come in um, with black and it just kind of puts it all together. Some more little dots, some lines. Um, so yeah, um, it's all coming together. And again, I wanted to use lots of media on these tags. So I think I'm doing the trick, don't you think? <laughs> um, and then this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous yarn, uh, wad of, I say wad, it's actually very, I've kept it in the packaging that it came in from Michael's, um, but it has all these wonderful uh, ribbons and different types of ribbons, pom-poms, rick-rack, um, and so I'm going to add um, a good amount of different types of ribbons to this cute little unicorn tag. Um, definitely had some sparkle in there. And you gotta love ribbons. They're just, um, they make everything so much more pretty. And so, um, so yeah, I love this. Actually, if I ever get back over to Michael's, they had some more neutral colors. And so I would love to get some. Um, the pink are great because I use pink in everything. But I think I would love to have some neutral. It would be really great to have a little bit of um, rainbow colors. But I know they, they did have some some neutrals too and I thought that would be even though I don't really use neutrals I don't know we'll have to look at that because the more I think about I'm like would I really use the neutrals I probably would mix it with a lot of color so yeah how aren't they looking so cute I just love how they're turning out it really um it's exactly what I wanted to do so it really has inspired me to um these after uh, while making these it has really inspired me to do this some more because these are just so fun and it uses up so many uh, different supplies and things like that. So yes, of course that white line got to go. It it's just not working for me. But I didn't want to have my I, I needed to add some more um, width to this uh, tag. And actually, in the end, it really worked out perfect because. Um, that pajama party I'm going to use it yes I'm going to use it and so actually making this tag a little bit more wider um, helped me um, help me be able to use that wording because it was a little bigger but keep in mind too that if you when you go to print these out print that particular out you can do like smaller if you want to um, actually I made a couple of little uh, journaling cards that are going into the um, door, the little bingo prizes, and um, I just cut out a section of it. And so you can definitely like print it out very small if you have a smaller journal, like a TN or something like that. Um, and that way you're you're not playing. You can adjust the sizes. That's the joy of having printables too. Is you're able to um, play around with the different sizes. And then I uh, had my washi ring there and I looked over and I found the perfect, perfect washi to include, which is uh, Mindy Lacefield's um, Strawberry Shortcake washi. So it has all the friends and I thought that was just totally perfect for, for this project. So, um, so yeah, so we're doing, um, we're adding, see, it's like perfect size now. And so I'm just going to glue the pajama party on there. And this is will be going to the very top of my journal entry for, because um, I'll be doing probably like a double page or something like that. So um, for 
because I want to definitely take lots of pictures and things like that. And yes, 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 there's my little girl. She got added on there. And then, of course, um, I need some stars because I love stars. And it's going to be nighttime, so we're going to be adding nighttime little stars to our pajama party tag. Um, so, yeah, it, was per it worked out perfect. And then, of course, I'll be adding some ribbons on there and um, to complete this little tag up. So, yeah, so these are so fun. If you don't have ink sprays, you know, you could do, um, you could do, if you don't have stencils, another resist you can also do is if you do have stencils or something to that effect, you can actually, or if you want to draw something with paint onto your, um, like circles or triangles or anything like that, stars, you can use paint. You can, then you can do like a res, uh, instead of ink, you use watercolor. Or if you wanted to use like a really, really diluted, um, acrylic I think that would work too if you wanted to do a stencil and then basically make you a watercolor from very very diluted acrylic water I mean putting a lot of water with acrylic to basically make it like a really thin thin paint that would work too so um, so yeah it's just fun to just kind of play around and um, I really want to um, encourage you to just kind of use some supplies that you haven't used in a while and um, because I'm starting to find out that I'm a little overwhelmed. Um, and I think a lot of us feel this way <laughs> sometimes with the projects that, I mean, the, not the projects, but just the um, supplies that I have. And so I am really um, trying to really use a lot of my products up and sticker sheets and things like that. So, um, so yeah, that's, that's the joy of having a lot of journals too, is being able to use up all the things. <laughs> um, and so, yeah, so I'm going to, that is part of my, um, uh, part of my list. And it seems like I'm getting my, my, uh, getting a little stuck here. So hopefully we can get that. That will be okay there. Oh, and that was the other thing. I bought a ton of shabby chic cut up ribbons and things like that. And so um, I love being able to use any kind of um, that, add that to any projects as well. That's another thing that I just found a whole nother bag that I had, that I had purchased. And so um, definitely need to be using of that. I may start including some of that. It's vintage lace and stuff, including that in some of the kits, because I think that would be a fun, um, fun addition. Um, yeah, so I busted out my big stapler <laughs> because my little Tim Holtz wasn't going to, but wasn't going to, uh, punch through those, uh, ribbons. And so it worked out perfectly, my regular size stapler. And that was on the bingo card too. use a stapler. So there we go. All right, you guys, I'm so 